Hokey dokey. In this problem, we will still be using u substitution. However, we might need to do it twice. We want to use it for the first part, the 6r plus 4 to the 3 over 2. We'll go ahead and cut that off at dr, and then we'll do it eventually again for the second half, the 5e term. So let's start with the first half. Using u substitution, we'll identify our u as whatever is inside the parentheses being acted on by some other piece, the 3 over 2 exponent. Find du, which is the derivative of u, so just 6. Tack on dr, just like tacking on dx. Solve for dr by dividing by 6. And then rewrite this integral in terms of u's and du's. So we have u to the 3 over 2. We replace dr with du over 6. So altogether, we have 1 sixth u to the 3 over 2 du in the integral. Taking the antiderivative, we leave the 1 sixth. We add 1 to the exponent. Anytime you're adding 1 to a fraction, just take the top number, 3, plus the bottom number. 3 plus 2 is 5, and we'll leave it over 2. So we added 1 to the exponent, but we can't forget to divide by whatever that new exponent is. Dividing by 5 over 2 is the same as multiplying by 2 over 5. So then we want to simplify 1 over 6 times 2 fifths, 1 over 6 times 2 fifths, we can cancel 2 and 6, leaving us with 1 and 3. And then 1 on top, 3 times 5 on the bottom, would be 1 15th. And then instead of u to the 5 halves, we can sub back in our u, which was 6r plus 4. So this, again, keep in mind, is the first half. It's the first u sub evaluation, so we can eliminate ones that don't have the 1 15th. So then, the goal is to use u sub to evaluate the second half. So let me make some space here for the 5e term. We'll do this one next, but we'll move it down for now. We'll do this in green. So now, we're doing the integral of 5e to the negative 3r minus 4 du, or sorry, dr. All right, so we want to identify our u. Our u is on the inside. It's not necessarily in parentheses here, but it's in an exponent being acted on by some other term, the e. So we have negative 3r minus 4. We find its derivative, negative 3 tack on dr, dr equals du over negative 3. We rewrite this integral, keep the 5, we have e to the u, replace the dr with du over negative 3. We kind of group our coefficients, so we have negative 5 over 3, e to the u, du. The integral of e to the u is just e to the u. The antiderivative of e to the u is just e to the u. And then the negative 5 thirds just stays where it is. So negative 5 thirds would likely tell us our answer right away. But let's go ahead and sub back in the u. Negative 3r minus 4. And maybe on this piece we'll tack on the plus c since we didn't do it with the first one. So we want this with the 1 15th. We want this with the negative 5 thirds out in front. So it looks like option C is our answer. 1 15th, negative 5 thirds, and that's it. All the other stuff should match. All right, I hope this makes some sense. Let's go ahead and work out one more example as fast as we can. Let's see if I can squeeze it all in. Yeah, let's shrink this down. All right, starting with cosine. Let's see if I can do it kind of just without rewriting a bunch of integrals and things like that. So we'll have the first u will be 4y plus 2. du will be the derivative, 4, and then we'll tack on dy. 
du over 4 equals dy. So then, um, let's go ahead and do the second u simultaneously if we can, and then we'll kind of use them both eventually. So the second u, again, is the exponent of e. So 2y plus 5. Derivative is 2. Tack on dy. Solve for dy. du over 2. So then we can rewrite both these integrals. I'm gonna, I, now I think I'm going to split it up in terms of two different integrals. So cosine of u. And then on this integral, we'll need to tack on its own dy. So we want to treat this as like there are two dy's, one for each half of the integral. So we'll have du over 4. And then plus the second integral of... Uh, what is that? Oh, that was minus 5. So this minus tells us we actually want to subtract these integrals. Or I guess if you wanted to, you could have called it like plus negative 5. That should work. Negative 5e to the u. And again, in place of dy, dy, we have du over 2. Now, evaluating these integrals, or maybe rewriting them first, uh, the 4 on the bottom is telling us we have 1 fourth cosine of u. du plus and then here we have negative 5 over 2 so the integral of negative 5 over 2 e to the u du the antiderivative of positive cosine is positive sine of u all these coefficients the 1 fourth and the negative 5 over 2 again just stay the same antiderivative of e to the u is e to the u. So now in place of the first u, we will plug back in the first u, 4y plus 2. Second u, we'll plug back in the second u, 2y plus 5. Just based on the coefficients, you know, we don't have to do this last step, but just to be concise. We have 1 fourth sine and negative 5 halves e. 1 fourth sine negative 5 halves e looks like option A. 1 fourth negative 5 over 2. All right, if you have any questions on this problem, please let me know. Hope this helps.